Nicaragua cut ties with Taiwan in favor of Beijing on December 10th. To this day, Taiwan's ambassador to Nicaragua, Jamie Wu, has yet to return to Taiwan. According to local news reports, Nicaragua has granted citizenship to Wu. This development has stoked fierce controversy in Taiwan, with some demanding that Wu reject the citizenship offer. Beijing Shijian. In the early hours of January 1, 2022 Beijing time, China's Nicaraguan embassy in the Nicaraguan capital of Managua held its reopening ceremony. On the first day of the new year, China inaugurated its embassy in Nicaragua. Hamei Wu, Taiwan's former envoy to Nicaragua, has yet to return to Taiwan. I am sure that this visit from the fleet, which comes two years after the previous one, will absolutely strengthen Taiwan-Nicaragua relations, not only through strengthening military exchanges, but also by deepening the feelings between the people of both our countries. During a visit by Taiwan's friendship fleet, Wu had hailed the ties between Taiwan and Nicaragua. He's had a long history of close interactions in Nicaragua. Wu served two terms as ambassador to Nicaragua from 2007 to 2011 and from 2017 to November 2021. Last September 28th, he applied for retirement and was offered the key to the city of Managua as well as honorary Managua citizenship. He also received the Jose de Marcoleta Order in the Degree of Grand Cross, the highest honor Nicaragua grants to foreign diplomats. According to Nicaraguan media reports, one day after breaking ties with Taiwan on December 10th, Nicaragua's government granted nationality to Wu and his wife. The news has sparked heated debate in Taiwan. Whether it's Nicaraguan nationality or related awards and decorations, if such honors are offered the day after breaking diplomatic ties, I think it's a collective slap in the face to all the diplomatic staff of Taiwan's embassy in Nicaragua. If I were the ambassador, I would refuse such honors. Personal honors are of little importance compared to the dignity of our country. If diplomatic ties are severed, what you should do is publicly announce that you are refusing all these honors, be it the citizenship or the decorations. That shows Taiwan's diplomats have integrity. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs says Wu left his position as ambassador on November 17th and that all his retirement procedures have been finalized. The ministry has given no further comment.